Game Envy is a wizard again. <laughs> Bits. <laughs> Welcome back, hobby maniacs. I'm Rob Bear from SpikyBits.com, and today I have another hobby product showcase for you. I know, shocker, right? It's either hobby products, war games showcase. I don't even know, but either way, uh, there's some great stuff over at GameMV.com. Now, you may remember GameMV Kit over there did a uh, Kickstarter a few years back, I think, for the hobby holder, which, you know, really gained a lot of steam and allowed him to focus in other areas and develop up these other products and also sell some other products uh, from some other folks on his website. But for the most part, it's all stuff he designed or had designed for him. And it's, it's all great stuff. I pretty much used, had started using it all in some way or another every time I hobby, which is kind of crazy to really ingrain itself into what I do here when I'm setting my ways, <laughs> to say the least. So let's jump over there and kind of take a look at uh, these new Wash Wizards, which I think are really great. And when you start comparing them to, you know, some of the pricing like at Games Workshop, it's just kind of a no brainer, I feel like. So here's his website, it's just gameenvy.net and you can see all the different stuff that he has going on over here. There's uh, some easy quick links across the top of course, uh, store, hobby holder, kind of what he's known for, plinths. We haven't got any of those here quite yet, but I do want to check them out. Um, don't know a whole lot about them, but you know, folks that are really interested in competing uh, with painting showcases and just painting one model and making like a little vinaigrette type deal. Those, not the dressing, the, 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 the diorama. Uh, those folks are really into this stuff and it's crazy. It's a whole like sub industry of uh, hobby products inside of our hobby. It's great. I love seeing all this stuff here. Now, here's some of the products that I've showed you already here on this channel. We've looked at the Artist Arsenal brushes. I still use those brushes and also some other ones, but primarily these for right now, um, just because my old ones are kind of wore out. Uh, and I haven't gone through these quite yet, so they, they're, they're getting there though. They're getting there. We're going to have to look for some new brushes soon. The Stay Wet Handy Wet Palette, we showed you this. I actually used this wet palette for a number of years, uh, early 2000s till now. And now, of course, there's all sorts of different wet palettes out in the market today. But for 12 bucks, it's, it's pretty good. <laughs> it's pretty good value. I, I don't feel like your time is worth uh, any, any less right there to create your own, which you most definitely can do. Brush Bastions, these things are really cool. I'm not going to really get into here, but we showed you these in the past. And if you're a Patreon supporter, uh, you may get one of these with the Spiky Bits logo along with the Game Envy logo on it as well. You know, just message me if you want one, you haven't got one yet, and uh, we'll see what we can do. Here's the Wash Wizards uh, or Desk Wizard Wash Stands that we're going to talk about today because let's face it, we've all been there. We've all knocked over that pot of paint and or wash and then just been like, well, there goes eight to ten dollars with product all over the hobby table uh hobby holder and the fresh wince rinse well um i showed you all these stuff in our past so let's jump into this and this isn't even everything he sells on the site it's crazy all the stuff he sells so here it is we showed you this picture in the opening so you've got some they call them uh, what is it ranks i think what is it what does he call these things right here uh rank one yeah that's what it is so he calls these ranks yeah you can't see it on the drop down but rank one rank three and rank five those are the uh three in a row one and then the five and one behind it right there all high quality acrylic i'm going to show you this we're going to put it together here in a minute but uh for the most part super easy to build he, he really thought this out i mean look at the price so you can get one of these for like three what is it i think they're on, actually on sale right now let's see now granted it might not be on sale when you go to buy if you are interested in these but three and a quarter right now for the single uh holder which that's a great way not to tip over your wash and you don't have to spend the eight bucks from Games Workshop for some little ABS plastic. I wanted to say junky, but I'm not gonna, I'm gonna let you decide. The little ABS plastic that I had printed in China, this is nicer, high quality acrylic that's gonna look probably better on your tabletop. <laughs> Again, I don't wanna steer you astray, it's up to you, of course. And then they've got the uh, rank three, which will hold three different pots of paint. And I'm gonna show you all the different pots these things are hold. And you may notice right here, it's got a little notch and yup, that's right. You can actually put in your dropper bottles upside down so they drain and mix a little bit better right there. So as far as the rank threes go, you're looking at 650. And as far as the rank fives go, you're looking at 850. Now remember the Games Workshop, pot holder which is just basically a little triangle with three like circles cut in it is eight dollars so for 850 you can hold five paints it looks a little bit more stylish 
and uh, you know, I'll let you decide from there. But let's check it out and see what all you can actually fit in these things bottle-wise. Because if you're like me, you have a lot of different brands of paint out there, which means a lot of different size pots and bottles. This is how the product is going to come if you, you know, see the store or you catch up with Kit at a convention. I'm actually, not, I know he's going to Adepticon. I'm not sure from there for 2020 where he's going to be at. All the different medias and things right there. And you can kind of see all the components. And you're probably like, wait, I thought it was clear. And uh, yeah, uh, we'll show you why here in a second. So here's the contents of the package all broke down. The uh, rank five is about five inches wide by, I'd say three, yeah, about three and a half inches uh, in width right there and uh, gonna have the instructions on how to assemble it now the, just looking at it right here I can already tell this stuff only goes in one way so you shouldn't have any issues of, oh crap I did it Whoop. oh crap I did it wrong oh look they're separate even uh, depending on which one which side you go on right oh, I did it wrong okay I can no longer do it any more wrong but there it is that's why he does it right there and this is going to actually be held together without any glue because you know glue gets all over acrylic it doesn't look good with uh these uh, bolts and nuts right here so you don't have to worry about any of that and it is countersunk yeah it's countersunk right there so the nuts will actually kind of uh, go up into the material itself and it won't be all like wobbly or anything like that and then you're probably wondering like i said a second ago is why is this brown well it's brown because this is the laser protector so it doesn't scratch up and of course i'm having a hard time getting it off but you're just gonna have to take a few minutes and actually peel all this stuff off right here sometimes it's good just to get it and started with a, a little bit of uh, knife action but be super careful that you don't scratch your acrylic and then pretty much peels all off in one piece that's actually what's probably going to take the longest is to peel the paper off some people are really into that thing according to reddit but uh me no not so much i just want to put it together and here's what they look like all assembled swoosh <laughs> so like i said everything's kind of countersunk right here so it all fits together and there's no uh, no tipsies or anything like that and you gotta admit this looks pretty stunning right if it's on your uh your little desktop here and just doing just doing this thing kind of uh, having some spe specific colors out or of course if you want to turn some of your bottles upside down to get a better mix on them now you're probably wondering well what do they hold well these are designed basically for a very familiar size that i'm sure all of you know and love and then boom right there it's not going to tip over you're not going to spill eight dollars of uh, paint right there which is uh always a, a difficult thing but fortunately that size also lends itself very nicely to these p3 uh pot sizes as well and then you've got of course if you decant your citadel paints and i'll put the link uh to these paint pots right here i think you get like 50 of these for like it's super cheap it's like silly cheap but yeah you can uh, just turn those upside down of course that also means that our army painters are going to fit in here just fine just like that and uh, be all draining as they're as they're going and getting to the bottom and staying pretty pretty mixed because there's nothing wrong with just you know flipping them over and just doing that i personally like to have these little bins sometimes and i just walk around with uh with what's in them so for my um you know my little project so it'd be kind of cool to have these just kind of laying around all interconnected and then just be able to grab whatever i need uh for my stuff because they do kind of connect uh together like if you have them i'm not sure if he's going to come out with a um some sort of larger oh and some other paints too some sort of art, uh, larger assembly but i do have something super special sneaky to show you the uh, new pro acryl sizes will also fit in here because the previous size which was just like this because i actually give you more for less now uh would only fit like this which is fine too if you have these hey that's gonna work and if you have these obviously that's gonna work too because it's basically the same size as this right here and then little gw pots the mini pots are still gonna fit in here too so pretty much fits everything no matter what size or what brand uh, actually i don't know if it'll fit these no it won't fit those those halvesies from uh, vallejo right there but uh, pretty much everything else will definitely fit in here just fine now speaking of different designs i found this in my box and i have no idea what this is actually i know exactly what this is but i can't quite tell you yet <laughs> that was my ah, i'm keeping a secret voice yeah that's uh, don't play me at poker so this is a new uh set that's gonna hold two four six eight ten twelve fourteen different paints here and also paint brushes hey look at that it'll also hold your paint brushes which is pretty neat. or it can hold it up there or it can hold it down here 
which is pretty cool in a little place for uh, for my big fingers to kind of grab things. But it's got this little notch back here too, which is really cool because you can, I think it goes like this. Yeah, wait, maybe, yes, it goes like this. And what this is, you're probably like, wait a minute, what is that? Well, you could also put your brushes and, and different things back there. But what it's actually made for, and I don't know if mine's gonna fit it, is so you can watch painting tutorials. Of course, mine's a little too thick right there. But uh, if I didn't have this battery cover on my phone, it would fit on here just fine. So you can actually put your phone on here and maybe have it raised slightly above your desk, have all your paints and also watch your phone while you're painting or you know looking at uh, some sort of tutorials. This actually will be hopefully coming out kind of soon. Uh, from Game Envy. I'm not exactly sure when and I'm not exactly sure how. This is my, I'm keeping a secret voice. But also, there might be a different version of it. Check this out. There is a Gamers Black TM <laughs> color uh, as well that, that he's uh, working on. He sent me some prototypes of it. I think this, this is where it's at right here. This is really cool. Gamer Black is, we all love Gamer Black. <laughs> Everybody's always like, oh, that's cool, but does it come in black? And yes, apparently it's gonna, not only this particular unit, which I don't know the name of it, believe it or not, but also the smaller ranks as well. So if you want to be holding your wash pots and different things in style, stay tuned for more from Game Envy on how you can get these and also this unit and maybe some other designs out there too in the not so distant future. So that is it for this one. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure you head over to GameEnvy.net. Scoop up any one of these great hobby game aids out there for your tabletop here. I pretty much have them all in one way or another right here on my tabletop. And I uh, can't say enough good things about Kit and all the stuff he's done uh, for the hobby out there. Not just miniature wargaming, but miniatures in general as well. So also hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you can be the very first to like and comment on all our videos.